where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. Here in Florida, we love our air conditioning. In fact, there wasn't too much of Florida until we got air conditioning. Then the state grew by leaps and bounds until it has become the third most populous state, according to Wikipedia. But next to air conditioning, we really need shade. A way to keep out of the hot sun. Shade can be several degrees cooler and make being outdoors bearable in the summer. We have many ancient oak trees that shade large areas. Shade is refreshing, comforting, and gives beauty and a place to rest. But when one of those summer storms hits, which practically is every afternoon in the summer, you don't need shade, you need shelter, something strong and sturdy to take refuge under until the storm passes by, which down here could be a few minutes to several hours, or in the case of a hurricane, several days. In that case, you want to be inside a strong, trustworthy shelter, not a mobile home or a carport or something. The Bible says God is just what we need, a shade and a shelter. Isaiah says to the Lord, in Isaiah 25, For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a stronghold to the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm against a wall. He is our shade and he is our shelter. The psalmist writes in Psalm 121, 5, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. He's our shade, our place of protection and rest, refreshing, comfortable, beautiful place. When things in our life get too hot or we just need rest, we can go to the Lord and pray or open his word and receive comfort that we need for our situation. And when the storm comes and we know they will come in our lives, we have a shelter, a strong, sturdy, trustworthy shelter that we can run to. He will never let us down. The psalmist especially understood this. Just think of David running from Saul, hiding in caves. He needed not only a strong place to hide, but a strong God who would make sure he was not found. He asks God for a shelter. He says, Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord. I have fled to you for refuge. Then he praises God in Psalm 61. He says, For you have been a shelter to me, a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. David saw God over and over as his shelter and deliverer. We see this image again when Joel writes about the great and terrible day of the Lord. He says in Joel 3, 16 and 17, The Lord roars from Zion and utters his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth quake. That sounds scary, doesn't it? But the Lord is a refuge to his people, a stronghold to the people of Israel. God wants us to know him as our shade and our shelter. He wants us to come to him for rest or for deliverance or for anything and everything we need. He wants us to trust him completely, knowing he cares for us, loves us, and has the power to take care of us and take us through any storm that comes our way. There's no need for us to stand out in the heat. He's our shade. There's no need for us to get drenched in the pouring rain. He's our shelter. He gives us strength when we have none. He gives us encouragement when we need it. He is our only source of hope. So whatever need that you have in your life right now, this moment, take it to him. Allow him to give you shade. If the storm in your life is shaking you to your very foundation, Go to his shelter, depend on him, and I'll be glad to pray for you in any of the storms that you have in your life as well. You can write to me at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. This is Carla Early. Thanks for listening. And remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.